Tango down. Hey guys, welcome to Tango Down with me, your host D from Mahalo Games. Hey, cut that out. Today, me and my dimwitter friend here are on the map grid. I'm gonna show you around. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and say that grid is fairly small compared to the other maps in this game. I would still use a mid-range assault rifle class, but some machine guns work as well. If you spawn outside of the base, this is usually the route I like to take. I usually go up next to this yellow garbage can, and I'll almost find a guy running down here every single time. So it's a good idea to take cover around that yellow garbage can. This corner right here also gives nice cover. Then you can either, you have a choice. You can either go around this end and go up this ladder right here, or you can proceed straight through. Uh, the ladder is a good way to get to the second floor of the actual main building, this one right here. And you can shoot right back into their spawn from this point. I wouldn't stay up here long because you're kind of a sitting duck and there aren't many escape routes. So we're going to go ahead and climb through this window right here. If you switch spawns with your enemies and then they start spawning outside the base, then this window can be a place where you get a lot of kills. These broken blinds right here on the right side of the window, if you actually peek through them correctly, you can use them as cover. And I don't mean cover as in... And by cover, I don't mean cover from your enemy's bullets. I mean cover from their line of sight. That split-second advantage could be the difference between life and death. It's always kind of dangerous going up those stairs that just went up because there's usually people going prone down this hallway aiming straight down where I came from. But depending on if you have a spy plane or an SR-71, you can tell whether or not they're in the building. This building is very powerful. This back window leads straight into their spawn. You only have to watch out for this one entrance right here. After getting a kill, Claymore in this door I'm standing right in will help greatly. Now we're back at this window and I'm going to talk about this teal pillar right here. This pillar is great. It has really good protection against bullets. There's not much bullet penetration for this pillar. And you can kind of strafe back and forth, placing the pillar in between you and your enemies. So if they strafe one way, you would strafe opposite of them to keep the pillar in front of them, depending on whether you need a reload or you can let it come around and then you can shoot them. The whole idea of an object like this is to control your visibility to your enemies. By that I mean you'll be able to allow yourself to fight them on your own terms. So if you don't want to look at them for a second and you, don't, you want to be covered, you can strafe opposite to them, put the object in between you and your enemy, and reload, or whatever you need to do. But when you're ready to fight, you can strafe to the side the same way they're strafing, and you already have line of sight on them. It takes practice, but once you get it down, you'll pretty much use that as a reflex for every one of your kills that involves cover. Since there are only really two spots that you can spawn from on this map, you pretty much know where your enemies are depending on where your teammates are. The two spawns being where I spawn right now and the spawn from the very beginning of the game, outside the base. This little L-shaped group of boxes make for some excellent thing, I have to say. Very little of you will be exposed, and at the same time it gives really nice cover if you're going prone. Also, this doorway I'm looking at right now sees a lot of traffic throughout this game, so if you know they're going to be spawning back outside of the base, then covering this door is a very good idea. Also, you have to watch this middle entrance, and when you put your right side against this wall next to you on my right, you have a, a little bit of cover from the jeep in front of you, and if you just strafe backwards, you'll be completely safe from small arms fire. Watching your minimap, you can get trained to know when they're going to be coming through this hallway. A single person can lock down this entire doorway, which would lock down this entire building and the middle entrance, if they know what they're doing. Also, if it comes down to it, you can always blow up that jeep and get closer to the entrance of the front of the base. You'd be surprised how many kills you can get at this point right here, pretty much aiming right at the back of those tires. If they take over that position, these uh, medians right here, I'm, I'm right behind, will give great cover. Has another set of these little boxes that you can stand behind. This little square area with the barbed wires on my right 
it's just great cover. You can go straight behind it or you can use the sides of it. Just working your way around these corners. It's really great since you can just throw grenades straight over it, yet it covers you completely while you're standing, so you're at full maneuverability. But you also need to watch out for when they spawn behind you. And if they do spawn behind you inside the base, then this spot right here is nice. Has another set of L-shaped boxes. And they make for great kills. Just have to watch out for grenades. Other than that, you can hold them down pretty well. These little medians right here give good cover as well, but you need to go prone or else your head will be fully exposed, which will make for easy headshots on your enemies. This is great for when they're spawning back in the back of the actual base. Because they'll usually try to run straight towards you or straight to the house on your left. Going prone behind cover and throwing your flashbangs and f concussion grenades into areas where you know enemies will be is a great way to slow them down. Alright, and to review, remember this is a smaller size map, but I would still recommend the mid-range assault rifles. I, I don't know about the three-round burst guns, but the G11 can fire pretty quick, so if that's your if that's your go-to, then I would stick with that. But the Commando, Galil, weapons like that. Also remember the second story window is very powerful. The window I'm talking about is the one with broken blinds that you can aim your barrel through. And lastly, remember to hold the back entrance and the middle gate. That was the back entrance where there was the three boxes that I could hide behind that were in an L shape and then I could lean against that wall with the barbed wire on top to shoot straight through at the main gate. Pretty much aiming at the back tires of the, of the middle truck, the big truck that's in the middle of the map. Alright, and that about wraps it up for our analysis on grid. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. This is D from Mahalo Games. I'm signing off, and stay tuned for more Tango Down.